Imo State Governor Hopu Zodima has asked Nigerians to desist from pressuring or pressurizing President Mohamed Buhari into signing the amended, amended electoral bill into law. Mr. Uzadima, who spoke against the increasing call for the quick passage of the amended bill, asked Nigerians to allow the president to do his job, adding that the president has a constitutional dictate to study the bill. He said, I don't even understand the anxiety and the propaganda of trying to force the president or blackmail the president signing the electoral act without following the constitutional dictate by ensuring that he studies the electoral act. Mr. Uzodima said. He has the mandate of all of us, over 200 million Nigerians, to study the fact, the act, and if there are things in his opinion that he considered not to be the best interest of the people, he has to address it, he added. All these social clubs and anxiety here and there, it is not the best thing. I think we should allow the president to do his job. His comment comes shortly after presidency sources confirmed that the president would be signing the bill into law around 12 p.m. on Friday. The National Assembly transmitted the Electoral Act Amendment Bill 2021 to the president on January 31st, a second time, having reportedly revised the bill, which he withheld his assent to for some noted reasons. The president had withheld his assent to the bill in November 2021, citing the cost of conducting direct primary elections and security challenges as part of the reasons for his decision. <laughs> Buhari. Okay. However, 23 days after, or 23 days have elapsed of the 30 days stipulated by the constitution for the president to sign the amended bill. So Uzodima is saying that uh, they want to blackmail uh, the president. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, because uh, he's a Supreme Court uh, governor. This man is doing all he can to do or to be relevant in Buhari's regime. So governors are talking. You too, you want to talk. Uzodima, Supreme Court governor. Sometimes all these uh, politicians make one laugh. Imagine Supreme Court governor is talking. Chai, someone that cannot when his polling unit is also talking. My fellow Imolites, how did this man become a governor? Because by, by the uh, verdict of a Supreme, Supreme Court, was it God who gave you privilege to become Supreme Court governor or the devil? I guess it is the devil. God only kept quiet and was looking, I guess. See this, uh, Olodo wants to see, talk, wants elected governors when elected governors are talking someone who that stole the mandate of an elected candidate and became a governor overnight through the supreme court uzodima you are supposed to be hiding your face in shame supreme court governor he won't support him to sign the bill because he knows he might not be re-elected if this bill is signed join apc and become a pure lunatic reasoning and talking through your 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 whatever because uh, you know you can't even win elections without rigging <laughs> oh my god coming from the supreme court governor has he ever won an election before you are telling nigerians not to rush buhari so that you can rig election in future it is expected of you to benefit from a make shift arrangement who is talking please does he even have the moral rights Buhari's puppets have spoken. Nde eri eri. Supreme Court Governor, where well done, where well done. We hear thee. Was this man always? They show himself. He's so confident of himself. That's why he's showing himself, supporting his master beast. What do you expect? American democracy does not require you resign six months to election if you are holding a public or elective office. It is mischievous not permit a vice president to contest. If Professor Yemi Oshibayo resigns to contest. Another Southwest will take the VP position. I see Bola Metinubu as new vice president. Unago Wellness Last. Don't forget, you must not ask the people to vote for you. Please don't forget that. Too. Uh, they will still come and people will still forget. These guys really need to be dealt with by the IPOP. It's as blind as his look. This man, even if Buhari uh, <laughs> do anyhow, Hope go first year Bible cleaner. Okay. 
that means he can defend him irrespective of anything. They put him there, so what do you expect? So you are saying all these things so that he will not be making mistakes with his signature. Politics of dirty. Now in Niger politicians like, they like ideas and vision of the politics they claim to know. See who is talking. Hopeless hope. Abuja made Fulani Supreme Court governor. Supreme Court governor. So that Supreme Court judgments will favor your likes. Let us call him even a dog. He deserves whatever name we tag him. But we can't even change one thing. He's a sitting governor. We can't change what God ordained. We know them since 1960. We go show them during election time in Imo State. Come 2023. Supreme Court cannot decide for us then. Son of Buari has spoken. Listen to him. From someone that benefited from electoral rascality, Supreme Court governor is afraid of free and fair elections, which he consigned virtual with a barber. Election is none of your business. Now, through Supreme Court, you did it. Enter. Hmm. Ah, this man, Supreme Court governor. Uh, somebody was saying that, uh, oh, even in Bayesa, is it not Supreme Court governor that uh, installed uh, the Bayesa governor? If that is the way it is now, people will call him now, but they can't say that now. They, the whole thing is glaring. The truth is there for everyone to see. The truth is there. So you can't tell us that a Bayesa situation is the same as uh, Imo, Imo State. They are not, not the same. Don't be deceived. <laughs> they are not the same. Uh, so people just try to model things up. Does Uzodi man know what is election? Sense is definitely not common. Can you please keep mute, Uzodi man? The puppet has spoken by his utterances and actions. We know him as one. Hope Uzodinjo is a Supreme Court governor. He has no electoral value. So why should I take his words so serious? Coming from you, I'm not even surprised because it will avert the incidence of Supreme Court's governors. Another unnecessary high service. He thinks he can retain Imo State. <laughs> okay, well, if we pressure him, waiting will happen. In go beat us, Uzodima. Are you saying Buari is going to beat us? If we don't pressure him, who are the people to pressure him? Because if they want to vote, they will be pressuring people, they will be talking, talking, moving from pillar to post. Uzodimba, the drunken master of Emo states. Tura has bleached your ears to hear Femi Additional say Buari will sign the electoral B in Hawas. Oh, that they didn't do that too. See political hand robber, he knows once it is signed, he is a gunner. The poster boy for political house boyism. Governor without vision. The worst governor in the history of Nigeria. What is actually wrong with this fellow? Can't you face the governors in your states? <laughs> oh my god.